Hey, welcome, welcome, welcome to the show. Wait. What? You want to do it one more time? Okay, let's do it one more time. Dance, dance. Hey. All right, welcome to the show. We have an awesome show in store for you today. Our special guest today is awesome, awesome. It's a book right? reader. It's a book. It's a book writer. <laughs> a book reader and writer. The author of numerous books. Um. One of the books we read, Lewis and Tabitha, which was an awesome book. Um, and today if she's... you can't remember that, go back and try to find it. Right. And then another book uh, that we really like is called Five Sisters that she's going to come here and read for us today. Miss Steph Campisi is going to be here today. We are excited. We are excited about that. Yes. You're supposed to clap when I say we're excited. We're excited about that. Oh, you should be clapping at home. All right, now, here's how we're going to start it off. You got it. All right, here, here's how we're going to start it off. We are going to start it off right now talking about this shirt. You guys know, if you've been on the show before, you've seen that I wear this shirt. This is Lawson's Barbershop. This is my family's barbershop, family business. We, I, wear, I wear this quite a bit. I used to wear all the college shirts. I used to wear all these different shirts. But people need haircuts. People need to look good. So you need to go to the barbershop and get your haircut. This isn't really like an advertisement, but it kind of is. looks like a werewolf. werewolf. Yeah. If you're walking around your house like, ooh, ow, 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 ow. if you look like that and you're all shaggy around the edges, it's time and, to go get a haircut. And That's all look, I'm saying. And you look like a spider. Remember yeah. How spider? many legs? How many legs does a spider have? Eight. Done. Wow. You think you're so smart, huh? Yeah. All right. Fine. 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 How many legs does a uh, octopus have? Whoa! How did you know that? Okay, fine. How many legs does a table have? Four. What? How does he know these legs? Okay. Mm -hmm. How many legs does a does a toddler have? <laughs> Two. Whoa! Okay. How many legs does a does a uh, okay? How many legs does do most chairs have? Four. Whoa! Okay. 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 <laughs> Okay, okay. Yeah, yeah, okay, oh, 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 okay, yeah, fine. This is too easy? easy okay, this is an easy question? Yeah, fine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay, okay. How many legs does a flamingo have? Two. Oh, ho, ho, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. Kinston, right? Why was that a trick question when I asked you how many legs does a flamingo have? It is a trick question because flamingos stand on one leg. They stand on one leg a lot. They just, like, stand on one leg. I don't know how they do it, but they just put that one leg up, and they're like, I can just stay here all day on one leg. I'm a one-leg flamingo. Hey, okay, you got to stay there during the whole show, but you got to keep your head down so people can see you. Okay, so, yep, just like that. Don't move. Don't touch me. Don't touch me. You have to just stay up. You have to just balance yourself on one leg. Stay there. Balance yourself on one leg. Fix your pants. <laughs> fix, your, fix your shorts. Wait. We have. Speaking of flamingos, let the flamingos eat the shark! Yeah! Oh, the sharks are going to eat the flamingos. <laughs> Arr, Be like a shark with me. Oh, what kind of, what what kind of corona me. shark are you? You see this? This this COVID-19 <laughs> corona <laughs> shark coughing <laughs> on me? <laughs> All right. I'm a big girl. All right. Let's pay attention. I want to tell people something right now. So, so you know this, when we get to this part of the show, we get to a questions part of the show. When we get to the questions part of the show, it's really fun. You get to join us on Zoom. Kinson and I are going to tell you how that works right now, because in a little bit, you'll be able to join us on the show when we get there. So, Kinson, how does the questions part of the show work? When I ask three questions, what happens? If you get it right, what happens? No, if I ask you three questions, if you get all three questions right, what do you get? The bonus question. Right. And if you get the bonus question right, what happens, Kinson? You get a $10 Amazon gift card for me, or you get tickets for my dad for the next comedy show. For the next comedy show. That's right. So this weekend, I'll actually be at the Rhode Island Comedy Connection. Awesome. It's awesome. Right? If you want to come there and see me, and you want to win tickets for your parents, call us on Zoom in just a minute when we ask these questions, when we get there. But now we have a secret. Okay? 
the this is the secret time of the show because we have the secret. No, we're not even gonna tell them to come in close this time. You know what? We're not even gonna let them. We're not even gonna because some of them are waiting for us to be like, come in really close. They're gonna wait for us to do that. We're not gonna do it this time. You know why? Because we're just gonna sing to them. Secrets whisper in my ear. Secrets now my vision's clear. Secrets. Use them anywhere. Secret, 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 secrets. Whisper in my ear. Secrets. Now my vision's clear. Secrets. Use them anywhere. Secret, 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 secrets. All right. Here is how your secret song works today. All right. You left me hanging for so long. Ready? Next time. Whoop, whoop. Oh, shoot. There's nothing worse than going to give someone a high five and they leave you hanging. Give me a high five. That's the worst, right? You go to give someone a high five. You're like, hey, how's it going? Good job. And they're just like, you're like, do you not see my hand? Are you just going to leave me hanging there? Because now I, I don't feel cool anymore. I feel like I'm like, hey, what's up? Give me a high five. And they'll just leave you there. Nothing worse than that. Okay. So today's secret is pretty fun. Sit up. All right. Go to sleep. Today. No, today's secret is definitely don't go to sleep. <laughs> today's secret is a secret that will help you. This is a secret I didn't learn until I was much Wait, older. Wait. Right, for your whole life. This is a secret I didn't learn until I was much older. I learned this secret when I was... Ooh, 21. Nope, older than 21. When I was probably... Like 35? Okay, let's calm down a little bit, okay? I learned it uh, not long ago, all right? That's what I learned this secret. What? Uh, you were grown up? I'm a grown up. You're a grown up when you're 18 or a grown up. What do you mean? All right, no more elbows. Smell Slide over that. a little bit. Smell your nose. You smell your nose. You've been smelling your nose all day. I've been smelling my nose all day. Have you ever smelled your nose? Ew. Ew. You have. You have. If you've never smelled your nose, you're weird. It's, it smell your buggy. Ew. Take a tissue. Wipe your buggy. All right. That's gross. That's gross. Let's not be too gross. Okay. But you're always smelling your nose because that's your nose and you're smelling. So you're always smelling your nose. Anyways, your <laughs> secret for today is really, really cool. And it's super duper helpful. And it's something you might not have known. I didn't know until just a few years ago. You know when you're swimming in chlorine, you're swimming in the pool. I know a lot of you have been in the pools already. And you get in the pool and you're like, whoa, I love the pool. <coughs> you're like, I like to open my eyes. I like to look at everything when I'm in the pool. I like to like look around at everything. And then sometimes when you open your eyes under the pool and under the water in the pool and you don't have your goggles on, your eyes get all red and they get all itchy. And you're like, oh, my eyes are so red. They hurt. They're so itchy. And you're wondering, you're like, oh. And then someone's like, it's probably from the chlorine. I think the chlorine's making your eyes burn. And you're like, I guess it's the chlorine. It's not the chlorine. You know what it is? It's when people pee in the pool. Yuck! That's what makes your eyes burn. That's what makes your eyes red. The pee, the, the pee from people that are gross and they pee in the pool, it, it actually, it, actually uh, um, it, it has a reaction when it meets the chlorine. So the chlorine's like, ew, what's this stuff? And the chlorine tries to fight it. And when the chlorine's fighting the pee, it, it gives off all of these toxins in the water and that's what makes your eyes burn and that's what irritates your eyes and makes them red. It's not from the chlorine, it's from people being gross in the water. So if you're ever swimming in a pool and your eyes are starting to hurt a lot, get out of that pool! Cause it's gross, okay? Yeah, cause, uh, but listen it. If you want to see, with no goggles on, too. With no goggles on, and you open your eyes, a lot of people pee in there. All right, but that's different. The ocean, if you're in the ocean, yeah, a lot of people pee in there. Whales pee in there, pee fish in pee in there. Everybody pees in there. Okay, let's not go there. Let's, let's not be extra gross. So, but in the ocean, it's so big. It's so, 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 that it doesn't really matter if people pee in the ocean. But when you're in a pool, it's so, 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 much smaller. And if you pee in there, it can affect the things that are in the water. It can affect the the filters and everything if too many people are in there being gross. And so your eyes can get burned from the chlorine. So that's today's secret. It's something to know. It's something to learn. If you're ever in a pool, let your parents know. Don't be in there and be like, my eyes really hurt, but I'm having the best time of my life. It's gross, okay? Now you know. That's your secret. And now. Just, and just so you know, when you do that, you, um, um, please don't really 
still going in your eyes. It's going in your nose. Ew. Okay. Yes. All right. We are done talking about the pee. We're done talking about everything gross. Now it is time for questions. Now, this is the part of the show where we'd love for you to come join us on Zoom. If you want to know how to get into the Zoom link, look right above in the original post, and you're going to see join us in Zoom. Click here. Go into the Zoom link right now. You guys can click it now. We're going to sing the question song three times, Everyone. and we'll see who's inside the Zoom link right now. So here we go. What do you want to say? Uh, just so you know, look right up there, right here, and it's right there. All right. Okay. That's where the Zoom link is. Go up there, click that link. You'll come in here and join us, and we're going to have a good time. You're going to answer these questions. If you're just joining us now, let me tell you real quick, you'll answer three questions. If you get all three questions right, you get the bonus question. If you answer the bonus questions right, you get a $10 Amazon gift card from Kenson or tickets to the next comedy show from me for your parents. Here we go, because we have some questions, questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. We have some questions for you. Oh, questions for you today. Bomb, bomb. Questions for you today. Bam bam. Questions for you today. Bam bam. We have some questions for you. Oh, questions for you today. Bam bam. Questions for you today. Bam bam. Questions for you today. Bam bam. We have some questions for you. All right, here we go. Well, that was that. That was two times. That was three times. No, that was two. That was three. We did it three times. For sure. For sure. For sure. Questions for you today. We did it three times already. Questions for you today. Bam bam. Questions for you today. Questions for you. You're baby. All right. He's always giving everybody extra time. You're just so nice. You give everybody extra time. All right. Here we go. Let's get into it. Let's get into it right now. Let's see. All right. Let's go into the waiting room. If I don't see a bunch of people in the waiting room, we will just ask the questions to the people that are here right now, and you can answer them at home. Here we go. We're going to get right into these questions. I don't see a bunch of people in the Zoom link right now, so we're going to get right into the questions. Yeah, we All right, it. let's do it. Yeah, let's not wait. Let's not wait. Uh, we're not going to wait too long because we want to keep the show rolling. All right. And for our special guests. And for our special guests, for sure. Oh, All right. God, Here is your first question. You can answer these at home. Just type it in, and we're going to move right through these questions unless you call in in five, four, three, two, one. Let's do it. They're taking so long. No, we're not going to wait today. All right. How many days are in the week? How many days are there in the week? I know that question. All right. This isn't for you. This is for them. We got to give them a chance to answer. How many days are there in the week? This is easy. Oh, what do you mean it's easy? All right. All right. Did you write your answers? Okay. How many days are there, Kenston? Seven. Seven is, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. Kinston. All right, here we go. Dude, that's so easy. All right, all right, all right, all right. Here we go. Next question. What is bigger, a city or a country? What is bigger, a city or a country? Don't say anything, Kinston, if you know the answer. Let's give the people at home a chance to answer. What is bigger, a city or a country? Okay, here we go. Dad, now can I say it? All right, here we go. We're about to answer. A city or a country, what is bigger? All right. Kinston, do you know the answer? City. What is bigger, a city or a country? And you say, a city? You got it wrong. 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 Kids dead. A country's bigger. <laughs> it's All right. I got right early. It's good you got it right early. I know. <laughs> so that, that you made that still count. Yep, that still counts. All right, here we go. We're gonna go to the next one. Here's your next question. <laughs> Which month begins with the letter A? Which month begins with the letter A? A. <laughs> Tell us which month begins with the letter A. All right, here we go. Which month begins with the letter A? We're going to give them a couple seconds to figure it out. All right. Do you know the answer, Kinston? Nope. Which month begins with the letter A? What do you think? A. A. Which month do you think begins with the letter A? I don't know. You don't know? I think know. about the months. Oh, you know? A. All right. Tell me. Which month? 
No, there's not a month named A. What's which month begins with A? Think about them. Take your time. Hurry up. Cadence birthday month is October. That's an O. Can you think of any other ones? Say them out in your head. Just say them, say them in your head, real or say them out loud. Say the month. That's what other people are doing right now is they figure it out. See if you can do it before they write it. Think about it. What's the first? January? February? March? April! Oh, April! That's oh, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. Can't stand. All right, here we go. Next question. I hope you guys got those right at home. Here is your bonus question. Are you ready? Bon, thum, bon, 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 bonus, 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 bon, 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 bonus, 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 bonus. Here's your bonus question. You get the bonus question because right. you got it right. Let's see if they can get it right. Do wolves, do wolves, you know what a wolf is, right? You know what a wolf is, like a fox? Okay, do, do wolves, they look like big dogs in the wild with Ooh. little snouts and starly snouts. Ready? Ooh. Do wolves howl, foul, or owl at night. Do they do they howl, foul, or owl at night? When you hear them at night, do they go howl, or do they go owl, or do they go foul? What do they do? Do wolves howl, foul, or owl at night? All right, don't answer yet. You wait. You do owl at night. All right, let's see what the people say. Do wolves howl, foul, or owl at night? What do you think? Owl. All right, let's see what they say. Let's see if anybody got it right. All right, Kenson, before I see what they write, what do you think? Do wolves howl, foul, or owl at night? What do they do? Well, well, what is that? What is that? All right, I don't know if it sounds like you're saying owl. Okay, so which one is it? Is it howl, owl, howl. or fowl? Howl, howl. Oh, if you said howl, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. Ah, you got it right. You got it right. You got it right. <laughs> Zombie. <laughs> zombie. Zombie. <laughs> hey. Ah, don't turn me into a zombie. I'm zombie. To, ah, zombie. Zombie, 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 zombie. I'm trying to do a show right now. You I'm, can't turn me into a zombie wait, right now. No, no, no. We have to move on. I'm I can't be a zombie. zombie. Ah. I don't want to be a zombie. I'm, I'm trying to. Off your no, you can't rip my buttons off. And I don't want to be a zombie. <laughs> Wake up the zombie man. Zombie! You're the only crazy one around here. I'm a zombie too. That can move really quickly. <laughs> 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 You're a really slow zombie. Ah! <laughs> All right. Thank you, thank you, thank you for enjoying us with questions, for joining us with questions. And I hope you enjoyed the questions. All right. And, and good I, job I, on answering the questions, and good job to you on answering the questions. All right. Let's keep it moving, baby. Just so you know, um, I said, if you like the uh, zombies, just be like, I like you, zombies. Okay. Send it in the post. Send it in the post if you like those zombies. His zombie is better. Kitson zombie is definitely better. Let me see. No, no, no more, zombie. no more, no more zombie head grabs. Don't zombie. grab daddy's head anymore. Zombie. Uh, zombie. Uh, no more zombie. My zombie button is turned off. I'm, you can't do it. You can't do it. No, 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 no. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. My zombie button turned off. All right. I, I, I wish I had a knife. I could just cut. No, that, that doesn't sound nice. That sounds very mean. You can't cut daddy zombie buttons off. Okay, now we are moving on to the book, and we have a special guest that's here that's going to read a book for us right now. Okay, our special guest, because right now it's book time, book time, book time. Bookie, 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 book time, book time, book time. Bookie, 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 book time, book time, book time. Bookie, 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 bookie. Okay, let's tell you about our special guest. Our special guest today is this is okay 
She's a hilarious artist, uh, author. I was going to say artist. Oh, my goodness. She's a hilarious author that loves to write about strange characters in strange situations. And she is awesome. Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for Miss Steph Campisi. She's coming in to read to us. I can't wait. I'm excited. I'm pretty excited. Come on in, Steph. Come join the fun. She's coming right now. Hello. Hey. How's it going? How are you? Not too bad. Awesome. We are so happy to have you here today. Happy to be here. How's it going? It's going really good. You are our special guest. You're our special reader today. I am. Usually, Kenson and I read a book together, but we have the person who wrote the book that we were going to read today. All right? Okay. Like, spoiler alert, we are going <laughs> to read this book. Oh, this book. And it then we were like... It would be way better than us reading Five Sisters to have the person who wrote the book be here. She also wrote uh, Lewis and Tabitha, which we read on a different day, which was an awesome book. People love that book. So now we have this one. So how was your day, Steph? Pretty good. I can't complain. I had a dip in the pool and did a bit of work. Got a workout in. Yeah. Your eyes weren't burning in the pool today, were they? No, they weren't. But it was so hot here. <laughs> <laughs> right, you need to cool off in the pool. Oh, it's 110 here already, so. <laughs> where where are you exactly? So I'm just, I'm in Palm Desert, which is close to Palm Springs, so the desert. Oh, really in hot. California? Not, yeah, in California. Oh, so, wow. You are in the yeah, desert. Yeah, so from Australia originally, originally, obviously, given my funny yeah. accent. Yeah, and I live in Washington State. Australia. When I was writing this, I was living in Washington State, which is why it's full of forests and rain and snow and cold. And then I said, mm -mm, let's move to California. <laughs> I need some sunshine. So. <laughs> you need both. Yeah. A little bit of both. I yeah, think a little, a little bit, bit of both is a good idea, actually. I think next time I'll go somewhere in the middle. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm instead. <laughs> I'm <laughs> yes, you got the he's using the hand fan right now. Thank you. He has oh, I need, I need one of those. Yeah. All right. well, they, don't hit me. They're the best hand fans I've ever I've ever experienced. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, your wrists are gonna wear out. Let's let's get ready to hear the book here. All right. We are excited. And the book, so what would um we don't usually get to ask these questions. So let me <laughs> ask you this before you read the book. Right. What um what do you think about before you start writing a book, right? Which, because I know there's some people that watch. There's some of the kids that watch now, and maybe even some of the parents that are inspired to write something. They're like, I want to write something. They don't know where to get started. They don't know how to start. They don't even know which thing they should write first. Do you write the book from the middle to the end and it'll start at the end and write it backwards? Do you just start at the beginning and you write it all? Like, what do you do? That's a really good question. It kind of changes every time. Um, with picture books, I usually have a title and everything stems from the title. So Lewis and Tabitha is about Lewis and Tabitha. Very Lulu, which is my book about a dog back here. Oh, look at that. Ooh. Oh, oh just happened to be right there. <laughs> well, Great to be there. Um, so obviously, <laughs> that was actually based on a real story. So that's where that one came to me. But yeah, I usually start at the beginning, have no idea what's going to happen, muddle through, get stuck in the middle, go away for a while, slowly figure it out, then come back and finish it. But everyone's different. Some people plan everything out. They know exactly what they're going to do. Some people have no idea. Some people take ages. Some people get it all done at once. I feel like just do it. Just write it. You can always fix it, but you can't fix it if you haven't written it. So just get a are pen you, and paper or your keyboard and go for it. Are you ever just um, are you ever just sitting on the beach? And because this is a question that people ask me as a comedian, mm -hmm. they'll be like, are you always just writing down uh, note, notes? And do you have notes all in your phone? Are you ever just sitting at the beach and you're just like, oh, I just I just thought of a chapter. I just thought of a whole, like, I know who his girlfriend is now, or I know why he's in that jam now. That is exactly how it works, because I don't plan. It just, but I feel like my brain is slowly ticking away in the background. It's simmering and cooking everything. And usually I wake up at 1 a.m. in the night and I email myself something that in the morning I'm like, oh, I don't really know what that means, but okay. So yeah, I definitely do that. I feel like those quiet times, that's when the ideas come to you. When you sort of get five minutes in the shower, going for a walk, you're waiting for something. That's when the See, ideas happen. I always tell him the importance of rest time, even though he's too big to nap now. He doesn't nap anymore, but just having some time to go rest, be quiet, and just sit still for a little bit and all of your awesome thoughts come to you that will allow you to be creative throughout the day 
and and just things that will come to you. But if you're always like, blah, 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 you never get a chance to let those awesome thoughts inside your brain, you know? Exactly. You put let down them. the phone, put put away the iPad and just sit and stare at a wall. Right. <laughs> when you're really bored, that's when the ideas go. Right. And right. I was going to write a book, I'll just do it like a builder. <laughs> How does a builder do it? A builder would just write down a plan. <laughs> it's not at the bottom and where right. he's right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, he's he's doing it. He's sweating. 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 He's that's perfect. Yeah, definitely keep notes. That really helps. And yeah, did you hear what he said at the end? He 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 says a lot of good stuff, and then he just finishes. He said, "I would just write it down, and then blah blah blah." He just, how, he just finishes with whatever. Happens, right? <laughs> you have a great plan, and then it's blah blah blah, and that's yeah. <laughs> somehow it ends up being important. Yeah, <laughs> All right, pay attention. All right, so we are ready. We are so ready, Steph. Are you ready? I am. So I'm going to read the story voice, which is like super serious. So. Oh, yes. <laughs> cool, story voice. All right. So hopefully you can see it. Um, let me know yeah. if not. I'm, I'm hiding a hole in the wall behind me here, so I'm on a funny angle. <laughs> we moved into a new house and it leaves lots That's of work. So. you want. Yeah, we can do. All righty. So five sisters. So this is brand new. It's only a month old, so it's just a baby. Still wakes oh. up in the night. Got a beautiful cover. So the words are by me and the illustrations are by Madalena Andronic, who's a Romanian illustrator based in Italy. So it's like an international effort. Oh, so, nice. All right. So let me know if you can see the Washington influence, right. which I think you'll be able to. The rain. All Steph, right. can, you, can you speak up just a little bit for us? Absolutely. Sorry. All right. There we so, go. We can I'll probably see. read and then show you. Yeah, yeah. That's perfect. Perfect. All right. The old couple had cared for the wood since its trees had been saplings and the paths through its heart had been brambles. Here they are, looking after the woods. Awesome. With kindly trowels, they had tended the pines, shaped the spruce spires and coaxed the great oaks from beneath acorn caps. The woods had grown up around them, thoughtful and wise, but the family they desperately wanted had not. So here they are in the woods with their little cottage their little friend the fox and a magic tree Ooh. Whoa. husband said the old woman one day it is spring again and everything is a bloom except in our cottage i fear it will never be spring for us the old man said nothing for he rarely did but his, his tears were flowers that fell in silent bouquets guiding the shapes that he carved with his hands here he is carving the family that he wished they had Whoa, Starts sad, gets happier, promise. Mm -hmm. That evening, under the twilight moon, the old man laced up his boots, and as he so often did, went deep into the wide of the woods, the nudge of his trowel reminding the path of its way. He climbed through thickets, past thatches and over briars, until the woods opened into a clearing loved by the tender light of the pale sky. So here he is going into the woods. Here's a wolf, big bad wolf, lurking. Oh. Watch out for that wolf. Absolutely. Watch out for him. <laughs> Good howling. An oak tree soared overhead, its canopy holding the stars the fireflies so admires and so admired. Wildflowers charmed its roots. Tree, said the old man, making a tent of its hollow heart. How small you were when I first came to visit. If only everything could grow like you. So here he is at the magic tree. Wow. Mm. Some magic oh, it's going to work some magic. Here we go. Hearing the sorrow in the old man's voice, the tree bowed its head. Old man, it said, you gave me the gift of life. Now let me do the same. When the old man returned, it was with a branch the colour of a winter pond. So he's got a magic branch. Remember, he carves things. Yeah, he has a branch over there. Maybe. Magic branch. Over five days under the moon's mild eye, he carved from it five wooden dolls, each smaller than the last, the smallest just a knot. He brought his gift to the old woman who clapped her hands in joy and placed the dolls by the window where they drank the sunshine in the tales she wove. So, 
He used the, the magic branch and carved five little dolls. You know the Russian dolls? They go from biggest to smallest. So he carved some of those and they're magic, so they're alive. That's right, they're Matryoshka dolls or Babushka dolls. Yeah, they're alive. So they're enchanted, so they're alive. As the summer spread its golden arms, they would paddle in the stream, etching patterns in the water and counting the scaled fish as they left. So here are the, the dolls, the daughters, floating about in the water. I love this page. Wow. So pretty. Oh, they're all like moving around. The illustrations are amazing, right? Yeah, they're so good. They're so cool. They're so unusual. When autumn visited dressed in red, they would play in the trees, watching birds flit like flames and scattering sunflower seeds to bring them near. So here they are playing with the birds. The old woman loved the dolls as daughters and counted her days as blessings. Her happiness made the old man's heart sing. But drama is coming. Husband, said the old woman one day, as the frost nibbled at the trees, no matter the season, for us it is spring eternal and everything is a bloom, thanks to you. The old man said nothing, for he rarely did, but he sat amongst the dolls, their merry chatter guiding the shapes that he carved. Do you see someone lurking here? That's our friend the wolf. Mm, I know, watch out. That evening, under the twilight moon, he laced up his boots and prepared to go deep into the woods to thank the tree for its gift. But the wise would stoop to warn him of a vision they'd had of teeth and eyes. And when the old man turned back, he saw a shadow devouring the cottage. That's a pretty scary wolf. <laughs> he's, really yeah. he's scary, right? Here he comes. It snaked up the bricks and stalked up the window where it loomed darkly over the dolls, a wolf. The old man raised his trowel and ran at the wolf who shrank back and spat out the dolls and fled deep into the white of the woods. He's chased away the wolf. He's pretty good for an old man. Yeah. That's <laughs> pretty spry. The moon wept a silver path and the trees stepped back as the old man carried the dolls to the hollow heart of the oak tree. There he draped them in wildflowers, his tears falling like spring rain. So the wolves kind of chopped up the dolls a little bit, so it's a little bit sad here. But we're back to the magic tree. What do you think that the magic tree is going to do? The tree lent its gentle magic and before him lay not the dolls but a daughter real and true. You can see the little baby in the tree here. Oh, wow. Yeah. As season flowed to season, the cottage windows grew bright with the family's laughter and the floors grew glad with their dancing. The woods grew sunny with their happiness and it was spring ever after. And so here they are, little family with little daughter, because all the dolls combined into one. Kind of right. like Captain Planet. Or <laughs> Power Rangers. <laughs> he never had a daughter. He wanted a daughter. He ended up with a daughter from the tree. All the dolls and the magic tree. After the wolf messed the dolls up, then brought it back to the magic tree, and the magic tree put all the dolls together and made a daughter. A real daughter. A daughter, like a son and daughter. You're a son and a daughter. You have a daughter. <laughs> He's like, what's a daughter? <laughs> You said, what's a doll? The dolls. You know, like little dolls, little dolls that girls play with. <laughs> you can Google them. They're really cool. They're like traditional Russian dolls. So they, they go inside each other. They nest inside each other. So they're, they start with a bigger one. They have a smaller one inside, a smaller one inside, and so on. So they're really cool. Yeah. So they're traditional style. And if you look at the illustrations that the illustrator's done, each one has a different personality and they're all traditional as well. So. Oh, that's awesome. That was so cool. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Everybody clap it all for Steph for reading. <laughs> that was great. All right, Steph. So we are gonna, right now, after we read books, we mm -hmm. love the books, everybody gets excited and then like they get, they get like relaxed and everything, right? And then so this, <laughs> I'm putting them to bed. But then I we turn it back up because we do jokes. So right. jokes now. So right now, the kids, right after the book, they always start getting excited because they're like, oh, they know what time it is right now. It's time for jokes. Right? So right now, you know what time it is? Let's go. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, 
Jokes, jokes. <laughs> Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Step, wait, stop. Step, you have to dance with us. I'm dancing with you? All righty. All right. Jokes, it's time for jokes. Jokes, jokes, it's time for jokes. Jokes, jokes, it's time for jokes. Jokes, jokes, jokes. Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Boom, boom, boom. Ow. Boom, boom. Yes. All right. We are going to read a couple jokes. Will you hang out with us for a couple minutes while we read a couple jokes? Okay. So let me say this too before we move on. If anybody loved, love, love that book, there will be a link for the book right after the show that will be right here. You can find the book. It will be right above our heads. There'll be a link so you can get that book. Give it as a gift. Have it in your home. It is an awesome, awesome book. And you can also get Lewis and Tabitha and Lulu. Mm-hmm. Yes, yes, Lulu. Very Lulu as well. Yeah. And also Lulu. We have to read that one. We haven't read that one yet. So we'll okay. read that one as well. Okay. I'm not Lulu. <laughs> I'm not Lulu. I'm not Lulu. Hi, 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 Lulu. All right. So we have a couple jokes here. We're going to read. All right. Let's see what the first joke is. First, let me ask you do you have any jokes that, like, any kid jokes, any kid appropriate jokes that you would tell? You put me on the spot. I know you're on the spot. I think I still think the best one is what's brown and sticky. What's brown and stinky? Sticky. What's brown and sneaky? Sticky. Oh, sorry. Sticky. It's what's brown and sticky? What is it? A stick. A stick. Ah! Jokes. 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 It's time for jokes. 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 It's time for jokes. 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 Ow. Boom. 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 Ow. It's boom. 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 Ow. It's boom. 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 Ow. It's boom. Boom. All right. Here we go. We got two more jokes for you. Let's go. So Steph gave us a joke. Awesome on the spot. Thank you so much for that. You guys can do better than that. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Why did the why did the little girl think the window was hurt? Because it was always in pain. Oh, oh. love it. Love it. Jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes. Jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes. Jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes. Jokes. <laughs> All right, we got one more for you. We got one more for you, Steph. Here we go. Okay. You guys are getting spoiled today. Steph gave you one. I gave you one. You got the author of the book to read the book. I am spoiling you guys today, but I'm going to give you one more. Here we go. You said you gave me a book today. No. Yes, you did. You forgot. <laughs> All right, let's try this one. Why did the lemon say, what did the lemon say to the dress that was standing up? The dress that was standing up. What did the lemon say to the dress that was standing up? Hey, citrus. Oh. Like citrus, like lemon. Okay. Oh, oh jokes, jokes, jokes. It's time for jokes, 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 jokes. It's time for jokes, jokes, jokes. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Ah, boom, boom, boom. Ah. Bum, bum, bum. Ah, bum, bum. Yes. All right. We are going to close the show now. You're going to stay here with us for just another minute. We're going to close the show because we have a lot of people that watch from the West Coast. And on the West Coast, I know right now it's what, it's about 530 or so. Mm -hmm. almost. Quarter past five, yeah. Yeah, quarter past five. So we know it's about time to come in. It's about time to come in for dinner. Time for you to come in there, take a shower, take a bath, get ready to eat your food. Do what you're going to do. You still have some time left in your night. But here on the East Coast, I know your parents are ready for you to go to bed. They, they're watching the show. They had a good time. They've been dealing with you all day. You, you've, been, you've been giving them a hard time. They want to sit down. They want to drink soda water. They want to drink some grape juice. They want to relax on the couch, watch their favorite show on Netflix, Hulu, uh, uh, Amazon Prime, whatever whatever their, their choice is, right? What else do they, what, how else are the parents feeling right now? All right. Tonight's like oh, Wednesday, and <laughs> all day you were like, Mom, Dad, help Mom. Me. Help me, help me. Look at me, look at me, look, look at me, me, look at me, me. look at me. Wipe my butt, wipe my butt. Wipe my butt, look, look, wipe, wipe my butt. Can you help me? I'm finished. Can you help me? I'm all done. Can you look at me backflip? I can tumble. My eyes hurt. My fingers stink. I don't know what's in my teeth. I can't get it up. Can I use a toothpick? Can I use a toothpick? My, can my, I use a toothpick? My, my foot's stinky. My foot's stinky. <laughs> my ears are stinky. My ears are stinky. <laughs> all day. You've been bothering your parents. They've been hearing this stuff, and they just want to rest. So I need you to know, if they're waiting for me to put you to bed, this is what I need you to know. 
I'm putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Wake up, bed tonight. Na 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 na, thank you, Step Care PZ for being here. Bed tonight. Na 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 na, putting you to bed tonight. Na 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 na, time for you to sleep, sleep, sleep. Sleep. Wake up, bed tonight. Na na na, come on, step set, come on, dance it. Bed tonight. Na na na, na na put me to bed tonight. Na na na, na na na, to bed tonight. Wake up, bed tonight. All right, this is the last time. Everybody's going to bed at the same time. Bed tonight. Na na na, come on, come on. Bed tonight. Na na na, na na na, time for you to sleep, 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 sleep. Bed tonight. Oh, I tricked everybody. This is the last one for real. Get up, kids, in bed tonight. No, no. Steph, this is really the last one. Come on, bed tonight. Everybody do it at the same time. Time for you to sleep, 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 sleep.